Hi everybody, I'm Philip Goodman. Hi, and I'm Roberta Monroe. And this is the Real Estate Market Report for Spanish Springs, December 2018. We're gonna take a look at another new group of areas in Northern Nevada as part of our series of market reports. We're gonna look at Spanish Springs, which sits just a little bit north of Spark. So we're gonna look at the MLS borders for that. We'll take a look at the December 2018 market activity and of course our featured property of the month. So let's dive right in. Since this is our first look at the Spanish Springs market, we're gonna show you where all of these borders are. Spanish Springs South connects right here to Sparks, then you've got East and West. Roberta, what's different about this area from just Sparks and what's unique about some of the, the terrain here? Well, Spanish Springs is truly the epitome of a bedroom community. You have a lot of family homes, ranches, and basically everything is pretty well new and built. Is this developable territory? Most of those are ranches, 10-acre, 40-acre properties with big, beautiful homes on them. And there's a pretty hard line here on the west. What is all of this territory to the west? That is part of the Hungry Valley Indian Reservation. Here we are on Market Insights from the Reno Sparks Association of Realtors, and we're only looking at single family homes. I did pull up condos, only one condo sold in all three of these areas, all of December 2018. So, Roberta, take it away. Units sold in December 2018 are down 13% from November and down 23% from December 2017. There's really no cause for concern here as sales always dip in the winter and overall we're only talking about 5 to 10 units. Median price took a small hit at 4% but is still climbing at 10% over last year. Percent of ask received is a strong 99% which means sellers and their agents are on the same page about home values. Inventory levels are down about 12% from November but up 74% from 2017. Month supply of inventory at 2.8 months is holding steady from November, yet it has more than doubled over last year. Looks like with all the activity around the USA Parkway, sellers are trying to cash in on what has become a very desirable part of Northern Nevada. Here we are on our website, crenohomesforsale.com, and our featured property of the month is 6375 Ray Del Sierra in Sparks, which is technically Spanish Springs, right, Roberta? Correct. What can you tell us about this luxurious home? Well, it's a beautiful four-bedroom, three-bath at 3,405 square feet on a quarter of an acre. Asking price is $690,000. As you can see, it has a beautiful entryway with the decorative doors and the marble tile. Just stunning. Nice arch entryways into the living room and dining room area, which make it very unique. Beautiful. Roberta, the, the outside of this property is just as stunning as the inside. Oh, absolutely. I mean, these are at gorgeous, stunning views. What a great place just to sit and watch the golfers, it looks like, right on the top of the golf course. Mm -hmm. And the beautiful barbecue area. So there you have it. That is your first look at the Spanish Springs area of northern Nevada. Now, Roberta, like I said, you've lived in that area for 20 years. You've mm -hmm. seen the growth. Why is that area of northern Nevada so desirable? Well, it's especially close to Pyramid Lake, which is world-renowned for fishing. So there you have a lot of fishermen, fly fishermen, hunting, camping, everything you can imagine. And it's close to USA Parkway if you work in all of these booming tech industries that are coming to northern Nevada. Exactly. You have work and excitement on one side, so it's perfect right in the middle. Excellent. Well, if you want more information about anything we've discussed today, you can contact Roberta at the information you see on your screen now. Make sure you give us a like if you would right now and of course share us on your social media too. For Roberta Monroe and the Nevada Real Estate Group at Keller Williams Group on Inc. in Reno, Nevada, I'm Philip Goodman. We'll see you next time.